Alright, what is going on guys? HC Gems here, back with another Street Fighter 5 video, and yes, it is not Rainbow Mika again, it is some more Falk gameplay, I know you guys wanted to see that, not really, but it's going to be on the channel anyway, but yeah, uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, things that Falk can do in her Psycho Angriff, her V-Trigger 2, like I said before, uh, her V-Trigger 2 is a pretty interesting V-Trigger, but the biggest problem, the general consensus, is the way to activate it, if you want to see ways you can activate it, and make life a little bit easier still strenuous but a little bit easier alleviate the pressure a little bit uh, go and check out my previous video on falc which i'll leave that in or leave the video link in the description below for you guys to check it out but yeah this the main focus of today's video is to at least exhibit or illustrate what uh, falc can do when she's in v2 because it's not it's not that bad it's actually pretty fun what she can do in this but uh yeah without further ado let's crack on and get on with this video so as far as I'm aware, we are all good to go. But yeah, I've got uh, Manat here. She's going to be the example. Uh, it's probably not the best example, but it, it doesn't really matter which uh, opposing character I pick. The main uh, reason of this video is Falk herself. So, let's activate V-Trigger 2. So, we're in Psycho Angriff right now. So, when she's in V-Trigger 2, she gains access. So the first thing you must know, this is mandatory information. or Yeah, mandatory information, rudimentary in uh, information, sorry. Um... She gets access to two new moves. Uh, one of them's called Psycho Sturm, which is this. It's basically the baseball hit, the golf club hit, whatever you want to call it. And the other move she gets is the Psycho Clinge, which it looks like this. And that move there is an overhead. So if I activate again, and if I get the opponent to crouch, it doesn't really matter, but that basically is an overhead. And uh, it's actually plus on block, which is very important to know about that. Again, that is crucial information. If I get the opponent to block all and do that, it is plus three on block. Um, pretty good move, pretty slow on startup, but it does have its uses. And I will get onto some uses that I found uh, shortly. Also, as well, uh, about Psycho Sturm, that is punishable. That is minus 11 on block. So, like I said, just to reiterate, Falk gets two new moves. Psycho Sturm and Psycho Clinch. Psycho Clinch is an overhead and it's plus on block. It's very slow in startup. So there's things to kind of balance it out to make it a, a reasonable move, um, shall we say. Right, the next thing to note down about uh, Psycho Angry for V-Trigger 2 is basically what drains the V-Meter. And I've said this is imperative for Street Fighter 5 players to always look into when they're testing out new characters and their V-Triggers. What moves exactly uh, drain the V meter and if so is it an instant uh, depletion or is it like depletion over time what is it as uh, etc etc and with Falk I've been talking a bit too much so I'll do this from the top again uh, with Falk she basically gets four attempts to use her new moves and what drains the meter is of course the Psycho Sturm, the Psycho Clinge, but also what drains the meter is her V skill because her V skill does get a property of reflecting projectiles like i said i picked the wrong example but manat's here but when you do v skill in general with falk uh, it kind of it clashes with projectiles but when you're in v trigger 2 it sends them back it's not a bad feature to have but ultimately for falk it doesn't lead to anything big in the long run but like i said to regurgitate it does deplete the vmia as you can see in the bottom left side of your screen and of course the sturm and the clinge do so as well so let's uh, let's restart that again if we do it so I said four attempts right so we're just gonna do maybe four psycho sturm so one two three four and it's depleted right and if we activate again and we do the overhead this time so we do one we do two three and four so hopefully you guys get the idea of how that works now if things connect I believe I think it depletes a bit faster so if I do like a, a basic combo I'll show you it now but I'll come back to it later so if I do one two three move that nope okay so two I've used two and there's basically two attempts left so no matter what you do you should have four attempts across the board so that's pretty interesting to know so it's just how you utilize those four uh, four moves or yeah whether it's the V skill uh, you know the golf club attack the psycho sturm or the overhead psycho clinch take your pick how uh, you want to use them and when and where to use them and also please remember use them sparingly because sometimes you might blow them all in one sequence other times uh, you may never get to use them at all because remember as the competition gets fiercer and people get smarter at fighting games the less you have 
more opportunities to land certain things. You might only get the one chance, and if you miss that chance, you'll never get it again. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. So that goes over the basics. I know it's pretty quick. That goes over the basics of uh, Psycho uh, Angriff, uh, View Trigger 2. Now, let's go over to like some practical uses of what you can do with View Trigger 2. Now, we're going to start off with normal attacks. Uh, I've, I've, missed, I've listed down like three or four things. But the first thing you have to remember is normal attacks. Now, normally, uh, when, when Falk's not in V Trigger, there's certain normals that don't really serve a purpose other than a poke or to help with activate. And one of those normals, the first one we're going to go over, is Crouch Medium Kick. Now, I did talk about this in the previous video. Again, the link will be in the description below if you want to go check it out. Crouch Medium Kick helps uh, in terms of activating because it is a low. Uh, if I get the opponent to stand up, it is a low attack. Uh, it's plus two on hit and it can help with activating into Psycho Angle, which is completely fine and it's really good. Um, now, when she's in... Uh, her V Trigger 2 mode. If you do connect Crouch Medium Kick, or if it does connect against the opponent, it's got an extra purpose now, or it has a true purpose now, because you can cancel normals into your V Trigger 2 attacks, which is pretty cool. So you can cancel into the Psycho Stun, send them away. You get 150 damage, but that's not too bad, especially if you're playing footsies and you manage to counter poke or even whiff punish the opponent. I don't think you can cancel it into V Skill. No, you can't. So the only thing you can do, or the only two things you can do, is cancel it into Psycho Stun. Or then cancel it into the overhead but that's more of a gimmick so really the main purpose is oh i can actually use this in footsies and get some sort of conversion now what makes that really powerful is if you've got super behind it because then you could do something like this so then oh right i've got a full conversion for counter poking my opponent or even with punishing something which is pretty cool and it leads to 422 damage not too bad for being a lot for giving you an extra move to use in the neutral uh, for Falk when she's in V Trigger 2. Remember, like I said before, it takes a, a long time to acquire. So you've got to remember, you won't get this at the start of a round. You have to earn this sort of opportunity to come back sort of thing. Um, again, when she's in V Trigger 2, I've talked about Crouch Medium Kick. Now, what about Crouch Medium Punch? Now, this button, I'm not really a fan of this button. Uh, it's It looks like a decent button. It looks promising, but it's, it's minus four on blocks. If I get the opponent to guard real quick, yeah, so it's minus four on block, and you're only going to be using it from about here. Again, you can use it as a poke, but I prefer it as like a counter poke with punishing tool. But it works pretty much the same way as uh, crouching medium kick in V Trigger 2 does. You can cancel it into the Psycho Sturm and get some sort of conversion. But again, what did they say afterwards? That's even more powerful, that's even more threatening when you got CA behind it. Because if you counter poke or even throw it out from here, get a connection and cancel into super, you're getting about 400 damage. And that's an abundance of damage in Street Fighter V as a whole. So that's some pretty good stuff. So Crouch Medium Kick and Crouch uh, Medium Punch, they have a true purpose now in terms of using normals. Now, the last normal we can go over is her Forward Fist, Forward Hard Punch. Uh, people use this button anyway when we were showcasing the character in the uh, Capcom UK offices. This button's good um, to a certain degree, but it's highly susceptible and it's got too many flaws because uh, opponents can jump over it. It's minus 10 on block, so if I get the opponent to guard again, yeah, it's minus 10 on block. So that means for 10 frames, you can't do anything. Your opponent recovers 10 frames faster than you, and if they're in range to punish it, they will. Um, and it does crush counter, if I take this off and put that on, it does crush counter and uh, pokes that crush counter in general, so Manat has one with a standard hard punch, they're pretty good, but after that, uh, that's that's just about it, it depends what you have really, um, but again, to give it like an extra purpose or like a true purpose, in V Trigger 2, you can cancel it into the Psycho Sturm and get 180 damage this time instead of 150. Uh, or you can go for the gimmick, go for Psycho Clinch, that's entirely up to you, but it's all about it's all about understanding what you can do and what what normals or what attacks you can cancel uh, Psycho Sturm or Psycho Clinch from. And again, Forward Fierce into um, Psycho Sturm and then the Critical Art, get some good damage there. I believe that's going to do like over 450, just reiterating again. That's an abundance of damage in this game, man. Don't let that, um, don't leave that on the plate. Trust when you get the opportunity. So, it's got an extra purpose. Um, but yeah, that's generally about the normal attacks. And like I said, it's even better when the critical art is available. Now, onto the next situation. And I think this is one of my favorite situations 
uh, regarding uh, V Trigger 2 and it's utilizing Psycho Clinge in a very specific but advantageous situation for Falk in general and like I said this is one of my favorite things I found about her so far. Um, I'm going to get the opponent to jump now, oh, not crouch, I'm going to get him to jump actually yeah we'll leave it like that. So what I've said before is you can cancel, uh, you can cancel into Falk's new moves off of normals. In actual fact as well, you can cancel them from specials. Now, one situation I like, or let me just, let me get not to jump first. One situation I like, so if I wanted to do, uh, let's show you a basic combo real quick. So, that that combo works. And as you can see, I cancelled the Psycho Schneider into the Psycho Clinch, and it basically knocked down the opponent. It knocked down the net, which was pretty cool. So, when you see that sort of thing, you're like, hmm. Psycho Schneider is an anti-air and you can cancel it when you're in V-Trigger 2 into the overhead to get a knockdown. That's pretty interesting. So by doing that, Falk can actually get a combo from an anti-air. And this is where I should have put the opponent to jump and we're going to show you how it looks right now. This is pretty cool. One and then slap. Oh no, done it wrong. Let's do it again. Uh, we'll do it from here. Should be the trick. There we go. So we got 201 damage from anti airing. So if the opponent wanted to go and jump in and you're ready with the Psycho Schneider and you've got V Trigger 2 ready, you can get 201 damage for anti airing. That's not too bad because not many people can get like a proper conversion from anti airing an opponent. And anyone that can, that's very beneficial in that department of Street Fire. Because remember, a lot of people like to jump. Jump attacks are still potent in this game. So that's one thing to note down especially when it comes to Falk. Uh, if she can anti-air, better take all the damage you can, right? Like, but again, it only happens in V-Trigger 2. Another thing which you can do, because remember, you can cancel off normals. Uh, another anti-air that Falk has is uh, Crouching Fierce. Now, this is something I found very interesting, and this is going to be very hard to do. So bear with me, but I just want to show you so you guys get the idea of how it looks. So I'm going to anti-air with Crouching Fierce, and then I'm going to cancel into the Psycho Clinch. Now what happens here is the Psycho Clinch should connect Meaty if I get it right. And then what happens there, bingo. So it did connect Meaty there, but it, it's very hard to see. Um, what happens there is you basically stop the opponent from doing anything and they're kind of forced to block the overhead because it's incoming. Now what that means is Ah, there we go. It, it worked, but I didn't get the combo. It worked, but I didn't get the combo. Uh, ultimately, what that means is anyone that doesn't have an invincible reversal, you can actually try this setup on to get a meaty overhead. Um, but if they do have an invincible reversal, you have to be conscious of that or even critical art available. Let's see if I can get it. No, I missed it there. Uh, right. There we go. Oh, I missed it. Okay. But hopefully you're getting the idea because you could, at best you can make this situation like plus 10. Oh, there we go. You, right, so that's how it can look if you anti-air someone with crouching fists. Damn, I got it. I got it right. I'm actually fist pumping. Don't mind me. But um, yeah, that's a situation you can do. So you can either go for Psycho Schneider, anti-air into a knockdown, or you can be a bit audacious, a bit adventurous, and go crouch fierce, get that meaty. Uh, it's very hard to time though. When you do get it, it's satisfying as hell. So then you can convert into big damage like that. And that's opportunity. And like I said, from that situation, if the opponent doesn't have uh, an invincible reversal that they can just throw out willy-nilly, like maybe EX Flash Kick or EX Shoryuken from Ken, Ryu, or Akuma, they actually have to block that overhead. And on hit, at best, it's plus 10. But on block, I think at best, it's plus 6. Plus 5 or 6. Don't quote me on that. I have to double check. Uh, it, with the frame date in the game because I don't think there's actual official frame date out for fuck yet But that's an interesting situation that you can get from there um, So that's an anti-air and advantageous situation there for fuck So let's move on to the next thing which is this is just basic very basic um, It's combo extensions and I, I decided to leave this later because this is one of the easiest parts you can do um, so when you get uh, when you're doing combos or you're in the neutral and you're using maybe stand medium kick or stand hard punch and you manage to convert into catapult uh, you get okay damage from these two things so 141 uh, with let's see right 141 yeah to uh, stand medium kick into catapult and 161 with stand fierce into catapult so 
if that's going to be the example, and again, if you're in terms of whiff punishing or something, when you're in V Trigger 2, you get a little bit more damage. So you can do, there you go, 241. But this is cancelling into the Psycho Sturm. But it basically gives you an extension off of damage you've already earned. It just gives you, yeah, a slightly uh, bigger damage potential, um, shall we say. And if you were to do like maybe EX Catapult, then again, same rules apply. It's just the combos extended. That's all. Oops, and I dropped it there. I don't know why. That's like one of the easiest combos to do in the game. But one, two, and then bam. There you go. And the cancel there. And then if you wanted to go for something optimal, maybe, then you do again EX Catapult. Then you go Psycho Snyder, cancel into the overhead, get some decent damage there. So the combo extensions, pretty simple. And it, they're pretty important as well. So the damage output Falk gets in V Trigger 2 is amazing. It's just getting there is the problem and i've said this in the previous video trust me you don't know how annoying it is that she has decent stuff in this v trigger and she can't really get it oh she can get it it's just activating it's a big problem but i i'm still thinking about how capcom could potentially change that to make it a better v trigger or at least easier to activate um but yeah we'll move on to the the fourth and final thing i've noticed as well and this is going to be short um, but this is important to uh, to know as well because you could get caught off guard by this. So I've done it to a few people and I've classed it as probably uh, Falk's number one gimmick in V Trigger 2. Like I said before, just to repeat, um, Falk can cancel into her V Trigger 2 moves, Psycho Sturm and Psycho Clinge, off of specials. Now you see me do on hits, but that also means you can do it on block as well. So if you do that, and you cancel into the Sturm, like I said, the Sturm is punishable. Right, that's minus 11 on block. But what Falk players will probably do, if you ever come across a Falk player, uh, they are going to cancel into the Obed, uh, just to make themselves safe. But there is a tremendous gap in terms of what they're doing. So if they do Catapult into the Overhead, if you try to punish the Catapult, uh, the Overhead will clip you, depending on what you do. But there's a huge hitbox on the Overhead, and it's got slow start, like I said. If you don't do anything, you've got to respect the plus frames because it is plus three. Or unless you've got an Invincible Reversal and you just don't care. Uh, same thing applies to EX Psycho Snyder. Oh, sorry, not EX Psycho Snyder. Regular Psycho Snyder. You can cancel into that. So if I accidentally done this by accident uh, and then cancelled, I can try and make myself safe. I can try and redeem myself. And if you do manage to punish or like interrupt that, just know, uh, keep in mind that, right, uh, Falk's wasted uh, part of her V meter to try and make herself safe, but I've taken damage, uh, depending on what it was, to stop that. So that's pretty good as well. Uh, one thing to, a very important thing to note, and this is imperative, crucial information here. Um, if Falk accidentally does, like, maybe uh, Executioner and does an EX move, she cannot cancel into her V trigger moves. It has to be the regular versions. So do not worry, if Falk does EX Psycho Snyder on Wake Up or in, in between your strings, do not worry about her trying to cancel it because she cannot cancel into the new V-Trigger moves when she's in V-Trigger 2. I'm upset about it, but I, I shouldn't be because it is fair, otherwise she'd just be doing reversals all over the place and trying to cancel into Psycho Clinge on making herself safe. Um, so yeah. That's essentially it uh, regarding uh, some techniques or just some tools you should uh, should consider when in V Trigger 2. Like I said, it's a pretty fun V Trigger and it's it's satisfying when you land certain things and you use normals that you didn't think had a purpose, which V Trigger 2 gives them a true purpose. And like I said, the damage output is tremendous. Um, it depending on the resource you have, but. She's a she's a she's a better character in V Trigger 2 basically, and I wish that uh, Capcom gave it a little bit more thought in terms of how this works. Now, I I think yeah, it's just mainly how you activate it. That's all it is. Um, other than that, if you earn the hit and you activate on hit, then you're fine because it's like yeah, it can potentially be smooth sailing from there in some matchups, not all of them, because when you're fighting your your Kumas, your Kamis, your Guiles. Your Rashids even it can be an absolute nightmare but when you convert off certain things they throw out and with punish it's amazing but yeah that's gonna be it for the video today hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and found it insightful uh, this has been your boy HC Jamis I'll leave all the respective links and necessary information in the description below if you want to subscribe to the channel you're more than welcome to and there are other following social media outlets 
in the link or in the description below. So like I said, this has been your boy SG Jammers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on the next Street Fighter 5 video which will probably be going back to Rainbow Mika. So until then, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.